Hello and welcome back to Tharik Place Enter the Gungeon. Enter the Gungeon. The intro is just pretty, pretty awesome. Um, our first excursion into the dungeon was pretty successful from my standards. Um, because I, I haven't fought against the Chamber 3 boss or one of the Chamber 3 bosses a lot by now, so I'm really happy that we made it there in the first run. And we played with a marine, and so this time we're going to go with another character. And I just wanted to make sure that I'm on the right save file here. So, this is the pilot. Let's check our items real quick so that you see what he can do. So his weapon is the Rogue Special. It's got infinite ammo, as always. And it's just a, a standard weapon, basically. Um, his active item is the trusty lock picks. So he's got a chance to pick locks and can only be used once per lock. So we have a chance to, uh, if we don't have a key, we can use this item to try and open chests. It might also break the lock and seal the chest so that even with the key, we wouldn't be able to open it. Uh, so we have to, would have to shoot it. Uh, but it's still better than just shooting it uh, right away. Then we've got two passive items, the Disarming Personality, which reduces prices at shops. And the Hidden Compartment, which is extra space, so we've got... We can uh, carry one more active item and the... Yep, increases active item capacity and maximum ammo counts. Okay, so we, we've got more ammo on our uh, weapons. But aside from that, it's it's pretty basic, everything, so... And as always, let's go. Oh, there's a grenade. Oh boy. Oh wow, that was really close. And what I really like about Gungeon, uh, this room pretty much showed it already. It's not only about the weapons you have, but the execution of your general movement and stuff like that. We could have easily been hit there, but because I, I managed to get a good dodge roll in, we got away. And that's just so important in this in this game. Uh, the dodge rolling and the general movement are really, really important. Oh, I like it a lot. Let's see, oh yeah, we need to reload. So the first floor shouldn't be too much of a problem. All we've got are these normal bullets right now. Oh, and we need to be careful. I think when they spawn in, they can hit us directly already. I think... Oh, yeah, this is getting close. We should get away. Good thing is their shot ratio is pretty slow in the beginning. Uh, and we can actually... There are these levers sometimes. And if I hit it, you will see what it does. Uh, I can. So we'll show it afterwards. Just so that you can see. And you saw that in the... F oh, nice. In the first episode, actually, with uh, TNT, I think, so we can drop this. And if there are enemies below uh, under that, they will take damage. Okay, what's next? The books are a little bit more annoying, but we can take them down without reloading, which is really important. Hello, N. I don't know why they shoot the letters that they do. It's N and R, I think. I don't know why it's these two letters, so if anyone knows, please let me know. Okay, I need to kite them a little bit more, and I hope we can find a better weapon soon that will help us with the room clearing. We'll see. Yeah, the blue shotgun bullets shoot twice. That's their pattern. They always shoot twice. The red ones shoot once. And that's really nice that it's... They designed them in a way that it's that they're really easy to, to distinguish from one another. They look similar but different. The normal bullets as well, you've got just these, then they have, you've got the ones with the headbands that have a different weapon and shoot um, uh, more often and stuff like that. I, I think that's really nice and I like the, the art style a lot. So is that one ghost or is that two ghosts? I don't know. Okay, yeah, that was the one we already had. Looks like one ghost. Come on. And I, I really assume there, there is a reason for that N and R 
um, they're shooting, I just don't know why. And I'm going this way because we can see the shop already, but we can't exit it from this side, so we'll have to go there from the other side. Oh, I should have reloaded first. Uh, so I'm trying to get there first, just so that we can see what we have available. Maybe we can buy a gun. Oh, come on. Thank you. And you already see that his aim is worse than that of the Marine. I'm shooting right at it, but it's just not as accurate as the Marine is, so we are missing more. I think we have more shots with this weapon, which mitigates that fact a little bit. But it's still harder to hit stuff from further away. I mean, sometimes we do hit, hit right on, and I, I assume it's it's a random factor when the shot is uh, when the shot goes out, how far it will go left or right, or if it will go left or right. So you might not miss, but you could. Oh yeah, that's something to be aware of. These small vampire bullets, there can be a grenade bullet of that kind, and that will go boom. <laughs> okay, so we've got the decoy and armor. We might want to pick up armor. But uh, not the decoy, I would like to keep the lockpick for now. It's a really good item. I like the decoy as well, but if we don't need it... Uh, I would like to keep with the lockpick. But there should be at least one chest on this floor. And we do have one key, so we won't need to use the decoy necessarily. Uh, the the lockpicks. Okay. Oh. Yeah, these are fine. On. And we'll jump just over them. Oh, another key. That's nice. Let's take a look here. Let's do this. Maybe. Nope, there's no enemies here. Ah, yeah, it's a fireplace room. Okay. And there's our chest. So, this is Shades', Shades revolver. Someone loses an eye. Let's take a quick look. The Cooler Bullet Brothers Handgun. Oh, oh yeah, okay. Um, it's the gun of one of the first floor possible bosses. Maybe we'll see them now. It's the Trigger Twins, or Bullet Brothers. The barrel has 17 notches carved along its length and somewhat incongruously a picture of a smiling bullet kin. Anyone who uses this handgun would look pretty cool. So, nice. Yeah, it shoots pretty okay but we still have rooms left so there might be more we can find and let's just use it oh nice that's really good one shot kills is pretty awesome we have to manage our ammunition a little bit but we could just buy more ammo uh, it's in the shop and we do have 165 but for these we really don't need it they're one shot anyways so let's not you know what, let's, let's, let's not waste too much ammo yet. I think these enemies are easy enough that we don't need to rely on a bigger gun already. It's just for speed's sake. Oh, nice. Oh, what's that? I, I haven't seen this yet. Ammo synthesizer. Ammo chance on kills. That sounds like a passive wamp skill. Repurposes spent ammo from fallen gun dead. Okay. So we'll have to see how this manifests itself. If we just get ammo back on our weapon, the uh, single ammo, I mean, or if we get actual drops. So let's switch to Shades' revolver and see how this works. And I feel like the music is a little bit loud right now. Audio, music. Oh, that's an active item. Oh yeah, we can have two active items, that's right. Um, with shift we are switching those. Okay, and that's everything. Let's go to the shop. And that item is actually the one we unlocked by uh, flawlessing the um, Gatling Gull last time. So this is block and load which we can use to block bullets. I don't think we can shoot when using this, 
but uh, we won't be hit from the front. So this old and battered shield has seen better days, but it still gets the job done. A useful addition to any Gungeoneer's arsenal when used in moderation. Shields are nice, but not if they're in... if they engender passivity. Okay, so we have a lot of ammo. I don't think we actually need to buy anything. And I could have used the deco uh, bought the decoy, actually. Oh, we could get more money, but I think we're okay. So let's try to beat the boss like this. And who do we get? I have a sinking feeling. Yes, the Bullet King. This might actually be the hardest of the first floor bosses. In the Lead Throne, Bullet King. He's really annoying. But this gun deals a lot of damage. And this attack is really annoying. But at the moment we're doing fine. Hello. Oh, no. Ah, crap. I was a little bit slow there. And we got hit again. And again. So that's bad. Yeah, we need to get out of that corner. Oh, we got hit again. I mean, we will kill him. But we lost a lot of health. We got hit four times in total, I think, with the armor we lost as well. But at least we're getting a lot of stuff back. And let's shoot this guy, because otherwise he will attack us. And now we get the Gungeon Ant, which is actually really cool. It's got two... Um, shot modi basically so for you'll you'll see uh i don't know how viable it is to use uh right now because it can be a little bit tough to handle you'll see why in just a moment so we are basically spewing oil and then we reload and shoot fire and that will set everything on fire which is nice in theory, but in a room like this, uh, it will also limit our movement too much, I feel. So let's not do that again here. Um, yep. Because that will most likely get us hit. Here it's probably actually would have been okay. Well, we still need to get away from that. I don't like the Iron Maiden. Yep, it's dead. Perfect. Oh, bad. That's so bad. And I can't... Oh, please. Oh, thank you. I can't even speak in complete sentences, apparently. <laughs> but we're gathering a lot of bullet casings, so... That should be pretty good. And you're already... You're seeing that the further we get, or we're in on the second chamber, and enemies we previously could kill in one shot with this weapon... We now need two. So that's unfortunate. Oh, key is nice. And there's the cell. I assume it's once against our trusty shop owners. Who we hopefully can rescue this time. But let's go back to the rogue special for now. Because I would like to conserve some ammunition on Shades' pistol if we can. Oh, that... Cold 1851, you dick. An ancient example of fine guncraft, the Cold 1851 has been the gun of choice for many nameless gunslinger. Skilled wielders have been known to quickly fire multiple shots, though the technique has been mostly lost to time. So I assume it's... Yep, so we're... We got a good sh uh, shot rate here. But um, it's probably not doing too much damage. And it's also got a little bit of spread. But we, we can try it. Seems okay for now. Um, so I think we'll just use this one. It's got a lot of ammunition. And it's better than our rogue special. Oh, this, oh boy, that was really bad. Yep, there's our PlayStation wizards. Oh, yep, there's the circle. Oh, and there's another one. So this run will be a lot shorter, I assume. I need to find the shop and buy some health and or ammo. And I got hit again there. Oh boy, I'm really smart. 
today. Let's see, what do we have here? The only... The rest is blank. That's actually really cool and that should help me. This is a wordplay. And I know this from reasons. So we need to use a blank. And that drops a chest. And that's a pretty fun weapon. The lowercase r. Alphabetical. And you will already you will get annoyed at this weapon real quick, I assure you. The letter R looks like a gun. Makes sense. It is rare but not unheard of for abstract concepts to take gun form when discussed near the gungeon. And you'll see its gimmick real quick. If I live long enough to use it. Bullet. 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 Yes, bullet. it shoots the word bullet. bullet. And it says the word bullet. And it will not stop doing it, so get used to that. Because it, it's actually dealing an okay amount of damage. So I will... Oh, boy. Oh, crap. Yeah, I need to get rid of that. Come on. Oh, wow. That almost got me. We need to find the shop. There it is, but we can't access from this side. So we need to go around. And I need to remember my active item if it comes down to it. Okay. We're not dealing too much damage right now with it. Can we get it? Come on. Thank you. Okay, and we want to walk towards the shop. If we can. Bullet bullets, yes, yes. Bullet, 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 bullet. Blam blam. <laughs> it's re it's a really gimmicky bullet, weapon, and it's bullet. actually okay, but it gets bullet, a little bit bullet, old uh, pretty fast. And I think we're going into the wrong direction here. Uh, we probably should go that way. But since we're already here, okay, that's nice. Oh, what's this? Ballad, Vote of Confidence. I haven't seen this item before. This ballot is proof of the participation in the democ uh, democratic process. PSA voting is cool no matter what anyone says. I have no idea what this does. No idea at all. <laughs> oh, this is... Maybe we can do something here? No? We cannot. Okay, so what does... I don't know what this item does, really. Uh... Usually, the text explains it a little bit, but uh, not so much this time, apparently. Bullet, 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 oh, hello. Bullet, 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 let's reload. Bullet, 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 let's try bullet, again, okay. And they will actually die if we just bullet, push them. Oh, no. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that was not what I... Had planned. Oh well, it happens. So we didn't get uh, the uh, the shopkeeper again this time, but it's it's fine actually, I think. And um, we will end the episode here today, I think. Next time we will go with the convict, so look forward to that. And yeah, I'm I'm having a lot of fun. I did considerably worse than last time. Uh, I think it's just that I can. I'm better with the marine than with the pilot, but we'll we'll get there with him. I think. Uh, yeah. So, stay tuned for the convict. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please leave a like and a comment. And if you want to see me play more Enter the Gungeon, just subscribe if you haven't already. I would really appreciate it, and I could use the feedback. I think so. As always, thanks for watching. I hope you. Uh, yep. Blah, 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 yep. Yep. There's my awkward pause. As always, thanks for watching. I hope that you tune in next time and have a nice day. Bye.